So, looks like we're finally getting around to the new um, Spider-Man movie, which really needed to be made. That's right. We needed to have a new Spider-Man movie. It's been like whole years since the last... Okay, sarcasm. All right, I don't think that this movie needed to be made. I think we needed a Spider-Man 4. I mean, um, I've, I've seen guys on YouTube just thanking heaven that Sam Raimi's off the spider films. You know, there's this one guy like, Oh, thank God, can you believe it? Wow, oh, did you see Spider-Man 3? It was so awful. It's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a, it's a sore point with me. Because, you know, I'm a big fan of Sam Raimi's. I really admire the man. It's a, you know, he's, he's a guy who's uh, taken what he loves doing, and he's turned it into a career. You know, he's, he's clawed his way up from the very, 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 very bottom of the basement of filmmaking, and, and you know, he's reached heights. And uh, he gave us the first Spider-Man movies, and uh, they were good. The first good Spider-Man movies. The first one, it, it was great fun. I mean, I admit, it wasn't perfect, but it was damn good enough. Oh, yeah, it was... And uh, the second movie, one of the most fun superhero movies I've ever seen. The third movie was a misstep. It wasn't that good. Um, there are a lot of tales told about what went wrong. Uh, basically, the consensus seems to be that he tried to please everyone. Uh, some people say the producers just sort of forced Venom down his throat, you know, said he, that he had to have a movie with Venom in it. He wanted to make a fourth one to complete the story, and uh, they wouldn't let him. And yes, I know you probably already know all of this. This is my sounding board. Forgive me. And now, you know, we'll never know what happens. We'll, we'll never know if, uh, if uh, Peter and Mary Jane resolve their differences, if, uh, if Dr. Connors became the lizard or whatever, or you know, that Dr. Connors, not the new one. You know, we'll never know if um, Aunt May ever got on stable financial footing. We'll never know. And that, it just stings to have a story cut off like that. You know, just one more movie. And instead we get a reboot. And it just strikes me as so unnecessary. You know, I mean, yes, there was one bad movie in, you know, three Spider-Man movies. One was not that good. And let's be honest, the third Spider-Man movie was not terrible. It wasn't Batman and freaking Robin, all right? I mean, mostly it was just disappointing because of the standards set by the first two. I, I've, I've seen nothing to indicate to me that Raimi couldn't have made one more perfectly good movie. Maybe even the best of them, because he'll have learned from his mistakes. And, and that's what irritates me when I see people going on and on about the old Spider-Man movies and everything that was wrong with them, you know? I mean, it is so rare nowadays that I see people remember those movies really fondly. They were great movies. <laughs> yeah, the third one wasn't so great, but... They deserve to be remembered better, that's all I'm saying. And uh, this new movie, from the trailer that I've seen, I'm not impressed. I'm underwhelmed. It's like... What is this? Spider-Man Begins, apparently. It's, it's a new, darker, edgier take on Spider-Man, which is just absolutely inappropriate because Spider-Man doesn't really need to be that much darker or edgier. I mean, uh, Andrew Garfield, he, he's like... How does he fit all that hair into that mask? He's like... How does he do that? Have you seen that thing? He's got a freaking pompadour. Okay, but that's the least of my problems. Like, So um, we're going to delve into the origins of Peter Parker. We're going to find out what made him the young man that he was when he was in high school and got bitten by that spider. Does anyone care? Does anyone care about Peter Parker's origins? I don't. I mean, maybe you do care. Maybe you really want to know about what happened to Peter's parents and why he was raised by his aunt and uncle. <laughs> it seems like the sort of thing you should go to another movie for, but, um, 
okay, you know, uh, apparently his parents go off on this mysterious mission, and um, there's a mysterious briefcase, and all this ties into Peter. Um, uh, apparently he's predestined to uh, gain superpowers. Maybe he's part of some kind of clandestine government experiment, which flies in the face of the comic book origin. So it, it, it seems like basically not only are they telling an unnecessary origin story, they're making it up whole cloth. I mean, in the first Spider-Man movie, his origin was just, we got to know him. He's a geeky kid. You know, he's raised by his aunt and uncle. That doesn't need a whole lot of explanation. There's not that, there's not that many <laughs> things to explore. The depths are not that deep that we need to plunge them. <laughs> so I guess my point is, um... I don't know. Perhaps I'm being unfair. It might be a good movie. I know. I, I, I have a grudge against it at this point. I guess it's obvious. Um, I guess I don't really want it to be good. You know, I want people to miss Raimi. I want them to appreciate him more. And that's not fair. You know, it, it deserves its shot. And, you know, maybe making it darker and edgier will help. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it's not so dark and edgy as the trailer makes it seem. You know, it, it was a brief trailer. We still don't really know that much. You know, we probably don't know enough to judge, really. I, I still don't think... I, I, I still don't like what I see. Um, I mean, what's this, you know... Do you have any idea what you are? Is that Spider-Man? No, that's that's freaking Clash of the Titans or some shit. Um, all right, but let, let's talk about the the trailer itself. Andrew Garfield and Andrew Garfield's hair. They're they're moping around high school. You know, he's sort of a loner. You know, where's the black the black hoodie? And wow, I just that is so not Peter Parker in any of his incarnations. You know, he's a friendly kid. You know, he, he's. He's shy and withdrawn in some of his incarnations. He's, uh, he's, he's chipper and, you know, well-meaning in others, if it's somewhat socially awkward, but he's not emo. That has never been Peter Parker. He is the antithesis of emo. You know, even when he's not wearing the mask, he usually is depicted as having a fairly healthy sense of humor. But this guy, you know, he's just brooding. You know, you get a lot of brooding in this commercial. You know, like, tell us about your parents. He lives with his aunt and uncle. Come on. It's Spider-Man. You know, we, we want to see him, like, zipping around, you know, web lines, you know, throwing quips, you know. Instead, I mean, the costume. Let's, okay, let's talk about the costume. What the hell is up with the costume? Is it just me? Again, or is that a really stupid costume? Well, he's got these lines leading up the legs, and and he's got the big semicircle on his back, and the... Now apparently he has webs coming out of the back of his neck. I mean, I, I realize that, you have to, that changing the character is not without precedent. You know, they did that in the first Spider-Man movie. Um... I, uh, I might have had a problem with uh, the organic web shooters at first, but uh, nowadays I don't mind them so much. You know, I think that they're kind of a uh, par and parcel of... Is that the right term? Anyway, but, you know, I think it's okay. It suited Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker because um, it, it, it went along with the feel that this kid, uh, you know, he had tremendous potential, but he was getting this great power handed to him on a silver platter. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm digressing. Back to the trailer. Um, well, there's not really much to talk about, really. I mean, all we see of Spider-Man is a, a first-person view. Again, I, I don't like first-person views. I just doesn't amuse me. Um, he, he's jumping around. He and he and he says this line: he says, "We all have secrets." that we keep and those that are kept from us. 
Aren't the secrets that are kept from us other people's secrets? I mean, it, it's a cute line. It's, like I said, it's kind of melodramatic. That's it. That's the word that describes this trailer. It's melodramatic. Um, it, it, it just conveys none of the, of, of the fun and whimsy and wonder that, you know, I, I personally believe to be Spider-Man's trademark. Um, so, yeah, you know, long story short, there's really not much I can say about it other than that uh, this movie's going to have to work pretty hard to wow me at this point. Especially since it's just going to be going over the damn origin. God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go back to the theater and see again Peter Parker without his parents growing up with his Aunt May and Uncle Ben and going on dates and being socially awkward and being in high school and getting the powers again. We went through this in the first movie and it was quick. It was amusing. It was to the point. It, it, w that was all the origin we needed. It's just old ground, you know, and I, I guess that's why they're delving so much further into his backstory, because, you know, if they're going to tell his origin, I guess they want for there to be more to tell. Maybe. And like I said, I, I really think that they're thro stuffing too much into this, you know, stuff that doesn't need to be there. Stuff that ill suits Spider-Man. You know, extemporaneous stuff, but... Like I said... We don't know, you know, we may not like what we see, you know, Andrew Garfield with his pouty lips, his bushy eyebrows, his pompadour, and stupid costume, god. They said he looks like a basketball, he does. But, okay, we'll see what happens. That's a lousy costume, though, he doesn't have webs, he just has grooves in his, he's like plaid, you know, the... Sorry. Let's just see how what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll reserve judgment for the next trailer. And, or, ideally, we'll reserve judgment before we actually see the movie. But, um... We, we judge beforehand. That's how human beings operate. We're judgmental. So, uh... I judge this... Insufficient. You're on notice, Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Doesn't look so amazing to me. It's boring. <laughs>